Uh, well, the main reason of the conflict then uh, uh, is um, is the basically um, the outcomes of the Soviet Union empire and collapse of Soviet Union. Abkhazia was uh, included into Georgia by Stalin and Beria. So when, when Soviet Union collapsed, uh, um, Abkhazia and Georgia, they found themselves uh, in a kind of vacuum, legal vacuum, their relations. When uh, Georgia, Abkhazia didn't oppose Georgia to become independent, uh, we proposed Georgia um, civilized form of coexistence after the collapse of Soviet Union. And uh, we realized that uh, Soviet laws, uh, according to which Abkhazia should be part of Georgia, are not existing anymore. That's why we proposed to, to that time Georgian government to review um, the basis of uh, state legal relations between Abkhazia and Georgia. And uh, actually, Abkhaz parliament uh, in 1992 sent uh, an official letter where we uh, said that we were ready to, to review state legal relations between Abkhazia and Georgia because Georgia declined all Soviet laws. So according, that's, that's how this legal vacuum appeared. But unfortunately, the war started, but it was the time when newly independent states uh, were, were trying to build their independent countries. And of course, uh, politicians being, uh, being, being communists were quite immature, including democratic states. That's why I believe there was that. Okay. I mean, it's a very interesting question. Um, basically, the position of Abkhaz government is uh, full independence, and it's not position of the government. It's it was expressed by uh, by the people of Abkhaz at the referendum, and nobody's going to change uh, the will the, the will expressed by Abkhaz people at the referendum in 1999 uh, in November. Uh, so um, there is a, there is an idea expressed by Abkhaz government on associated relations with Russia, but this is nothing uh, concerning uh, inclusion of Abkhazia into Russia. Uh, these uh, associated relations, they, uh, they presuppose uh, some joint measures and cooperation in the field of uh, border security, uh, economic cooperation between Abkhazia and Russia through Krasnodar region, through south of Russia and many other joint measures to, to improve stability and economic development in the region. But unfortunately, these ideas were, were incorrectly articulated and expressed. That's why many people believe that Abkhazia wants to be part of Russia. Though, I, I can agree, and I, and I tell you honestly, that there are some, some group of people in Abkhazia that are there is some kind of power small power in Abkhazia, people who wants to Abkhazia to become to become part of Russia, which is absolutely unacceptable and absolutely impossible. Well, our peace plan is uh, we we got no other way, but we got no other choice but to resolve the conflict peacefully, and. Uh, now, Georgia is the neighbor of Abkhazia, given to us by God. We cannot uh, remove Abkhazia from the Caucasus and put it somewhere else in the globe, as well as Georgia. Uh, we have to, in, in, in the sake of uh, coming generations, we have to find a peaceful agreement with Georgia. We have to understand that uh, um, old um, ineffective models of preservation of uh, territorial integrity um, is not serving the common and modern desire of people in the region to develop uh, independently, to develop their economy, to develop good relations with neighbors uh, based on uh, equal approach and respect to each other. Well, our peace plan to Georgia is um, we want to coexist together as two 
equal nations to equal countries and develop best uh, good friendship, friendly and best good neighboring relations. Well, uh, the situation, uh, economic situation, is uh, Abkhazia is on the way of reforms. We 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 are trying to implement many economic reforms. Uh, we already expressed that our intention is to develop tourism and agriculture. Abkhazia is uh, the main income for Abkhazia is tourism and agriculture. Uh, we will lead negotiation process with Georgia. Uh, which is uh, becoming more uh, intensified during recent times. Um, we try to develop a good and uh, more productive and mutually uh, beneficial and effective relations with uh, Russia. Uh, we, we do look for foreign investment into Abkhaz economy, and we're trying to establish uh, favorable conditions for foreign investors. Abkhazia's future is, <laughs> is, uh, is uh, bright, so I, and uh, Abkhazia will... We prove that we're self-sustainable. We live uh, for over 13 in isolation. More than a decade we live in blockade and even in this condition in, uh, with the regime of uh, sanctions we develop, we develop uh, internal market slowly, very slowly, but still we we, we, we going forward and uh, taking into consideration all these prospects, I think uh, the future of Abkhazia, I believe, I believe so and I'm sure it will be very bright and prosperous. Okay, and the last Well, it's not so dangerous. Uh, uh, people go. We uh, last year we have over a million tourists from Russia, and the number of tourists coming to Abkhazia is expanding each year. There is some low level of criminality, like in each uh, tourist country. I mean, pickpockets and so. But in general, it's absolutely safe, and people come and they enjoy it. Um, unfortunately.